What's going on, YouTube? Um, kind of a motivational video tonight. Hang on a second. You know, I always do. Look at this. I want to show you this. Christmas lights are up already. That's insane. Well, actually, honestly, it starts really uh, after Halloween with the Christmas lights. But anyway, I want to have a short little video about high school and anybody going through some tough times in high school right now. This is from an experienced person, a grown man, telling you the gist of it, okay? Um, I'm not going to give you, like, sex advice. I, that should come from your parents, not from some stranger on the Internet, okay? Oh, and don't worry, it's diet. Not that you cared. But anyway, <laughs> so you got to think, guys. To you high schoolers out there, or kids that are going into high school, you got to think of something, okay? You have so many years after you're 18, right? Let's say you live to be 80. That means you have 68 years after you graduate, assuming you graduate at 18, at least when I was going to school, it was either 17 or 18. You have 68 more years of life. And that's if you live to be 80, right? You have all that extra life ahead of you. And what you do now, between the ages of 13 and 18, especially, because it seems that's when kids start... At least, you know, when I was growing up, that's when you start experiment. You hearing about drugs and booze and sneaking cigarettes or uh, sex, unprotected sex. You know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Fortunately, I guess I was kind of a social outcast. You could say I didn't have a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of friends to this day, and I don't care. I don't need a lot of friends because now, as a man. I um, am okay with what I am. When I was, you know, I, honestly, guys, if I could rewind the clock, I wish I had this attitude went back then because I could have saved myself a lot of grief. But anyway, this is just my personal experience. Take it or leave it. Um, at the end of the day, you know, kids are going to be cruel. People in life are cruel. You're going to get called names. You're going to get put down. You're going to get, to, you know, get told that you can't do something. You're going to get told that you suck at something. You're going to get told that, oh, you're ugly or you're fat. <laughs> I lost count how many people on here called me fat, honestly. It's like, well, it's like they're telling me something I don't know. You know, I, I laugh at it because that's the way I look at things. Now, for some 14, 15-year-old, nowadays, the only time I really had to worry about, well, I use the word worry loosely, right? The only time where bullying was usually an issue was when we were at school. Now, of course, you know, you got Instagram and all these smartphones, and which is ridiculous, but now kids are getting bullied in their own home. You know, when I was growing up, it was uncommon to see people with a cell phone. And it wasn't even a good cell phone at that. It was one of those little LG flip phones. Okay. Or there was them phones. I can't remember what they're called, but they had a little blue screen. It wasn't even a flip. It was just a blue screen and numbers. That was it. Or then there was the big thing of the Razor. Or the Blackberry. That was kind of the big deal where the, you know, the keyboard, but whatever. So it's a way different world than when I was growing up. So it's easy for me to say to ignore it. But then again, I, like I said, YouTube is the closest thing I ever came, am ever going to come to social media. I have no desire to use any of that shit. To me, I like to invest my time in things that 
well, obviously, to get, to get a gain of. And something like this that might reach some person who's struggling. See, like, to me, YouTube is not a waste of time because even if it reaches one person, that's worth it. TikTok shouldn't even exist. There's no point in it, in my opinion. Instagram, oh, you can modify pictures. Don't care. Who cares? My flip phone can send a picture too. What's your point? <laughs> oh, but you can put a mustache on whatever. It's stupid. Anyway, like I said, it may it may be entertaining to some 13, 14 year old girl, but it's not entertaining to a grown man. Okay, or at least it shouldn't be. But what I'm saying, guys, is that you have to get up every day. You have to look in the mirror. The only person you see in the mirror is yourself. You don't see that guy next to you. You don't see those kids that pick on you. You control your own destiny. You control how you look, how you feel. You getting sick and tired of people calling you fat? Do something about it. That's what I'm doing. It doesn't happen overnight, but I'm doing it. And another thing, guys, the other advice I give you is that when you are in control of your own self, you're okay with the way you look. You're okay getting up every day and looking in the mirror saying, you know what? I like that person I'm seeing. Hey, when I was drinking a lot, I didn't look in the mirror a lot of times. Now that I went back and think about it, because I didn't like what I saw. I saw a drunk, miserable, worthless person. And that's what I was. That's what you are when you're under the influence of shit. You're not contributing to society, I promise you that. Whether it's drugs, alcohol, or whatever. But, guys, I've been on that dark side. And let me tell you, a lot of times I see these kids, you know, having a problem with authority figures. Guys, I'm a grown man. Own my own place, got my own car, but there's authority figures in my life. First, it starts with your parents, right? Then pretty soon, it's your teachers or principals. Then pretty soon, guys, guess what? It's going to be police officers. It's going to be judges. It's going to be attorneys. It's going to be employers. You know, you're always going to have authority figures, so you better get used to it. The old saying goes, life ain't fair and it don't work on your terms. Believe me, I know. I seen when <laughs> I seen so much stuff that I can't fit it into one video, guys. I seen stuff in jail that I thought I'd never see. I didn't even know existed. Half of it. What I'm saying, guys, is that you going through the life with this attitude of thinking that <laughs> life's gonna work in your world and the way you want it to work, it doesn't work that way. But if you're going to be a decent person, male or female, because let's be honest about it. I think as men, there's a lot more pressure on us because, you know, we're not allowed to show emotions. You know, we're men. We're not supposed to cry, which is a bunch of shit. But it's just a little, you know... Society really puts men on this pedestal. You know, we're supposed to be the dominant sex and, you know, we're supposed to be the ones that are the smartest or whatever the case is. I'm not saying we're smarter than women. Don't come on here and freaking give me that shit of, oh, you're sexist. No, I'm just saying, if you really sit and think about it, society puts us at the top. We're supposed to be the provider. We're supposed to be the strong guy. We're supposed to be... You know, the one with the brains. But, honestly guys, what you see is what you get from me. I don't care what people think of me, to a certain extent. Yeah, my boss, my family, that's a little different story. There's obviously a standard I gotta follow. But guys, the internet, it, think of it like a video game. To me, this is just entertainment. This ain't life. I mean, this ain't even close to life. When I get off here, 
I get up in the morning, take a shower, brush my teeth, whatever you got to think. When I go about my day, I'm not thinking about YouTube. I'm not thinking about what, I'm, what my next video is going to be. I just do it. I don't think about TikTok. I don't think about, I. you know what? I got bills to pay. I want food in my stomach. I got to go out and earn it. It's the way it is. So, that's the best advice I can give you guys. It's part of it. Moral of the story, be yourself, guys. It's all you got to do. You control one person. It's you. Nobody else. People ain't going to like you. People are going to call you names. People are going to drag you down. And you know what? It, most of the time, from what I find, the person who's making fun of you or the person who's calling you names or trying to drag you down, step back and just take a look at their life. Take a look at their life saying, huh, maybe this person's miserable. And the old saying, misery loves company. So if they're miserable, they got to make everybody else their level. So they feel like they fit in. They feel like they belong to something. No, as the old saying goes, don't be a sheep. Be the leader. Don't go with the swarm. Go against it. Don't do what everybody else is doing. Because these people you guys are idolizing right now, in 10, 5, 5 10, 15 years, no one's going to give a shit about them. Meaning, like, you think of, well, this person's so popular in school. Well, guess what? That's school. That's only four years of your life in high school. When you go out into the big bad world, it ain't going to matter. That person ain't even going to be in your life. So, anyway guys, just a little thoughts for tonight and have a great one.